It looks something like this. Hello gorgeous, welcome back to my channel. You guys have requested a clean with me and you are going to get a clean with me today because we are going to attack this closet behind me and let me tell you, it's nasty. It's nasty. I have never in the history of my entire being let my closet look this bad, so I have been saving it for you. You're welcome. I'm armed with my coffee because mama needs all the caffeine she can get and we are going to go at it. And it's bad, y'all. <laughs> it's looking bad. And guess what? We're also gonna do a little purging. I like to purge every single month and get rid of stuff. We're gonna do that today too. I am obsessed with Marie Kondo, probably like every single one of you watching this right now. When her show came out on Netflix, like the day it came out, I binged it. Like it's just my favorite. So we're gonna KonMari method this closet. I'm going to put a pile of everything that I'm going to, I feel like doesn't spark joy anymore. And we are going to figure out, do we keep it? Do we get rid of it? I already have a really good system going with the way I fold stuff. So I don't have to redo all of my drawers. Thank goodness. But I'll show you how I do all of that as well. Because honestly, I think it's such a space saver and I think it'll help so many of you guys when you have, cause I've got eight drawers. That's it. I've got eight drawers which is not very much. I don't have another dresser. I don't have anything else. So I figured out how to fold everything that I need and fit it into eight drawers. I'm gonna show you how I did that as well. The majority of mess here is clean clothes, which that's a great problem to have. At least I don't have to go through and figure out what's dirty and what's not. We're really, really good about putting our dirty clothes into our hampers in our bathroom. And honestly, I'm the type of person that when a, a basket of clean clothes is brought into my room, when I bring it into my room, I put it away. I have three baskets here and I never let it get like that. So that's the main reason why it's so bad. And just everything is a little bit disorganized. So we're gonna go through, put things where they belong and then take the things out that need to be getting rid gotten rid of, gotten rid of. Okay, first things first, I'm gonna turn on some tunes or a book and then I'm gonna get to town. I'm gonna put away the clean laundry first and then we'll go from there. about jeans really quick. I worked at American Eagle all through high school and college is one of my three jobs. Yes, I worked three jobs at a time through college. Um, <laughs> that I, I think that that's really where my obsession with clean folds came from. And so I'm going to show you the American Eagle fold. And if you've worked retail, you probably already know this, but I cannot fold jeans any other way now. It's like ingrained in me. It's in my blood. So you literally fold pop the crotch out. So the crotch is always facing the left side right here. And then you take the hem of your jeans and meet the top of your back pocket. So you've got a nice fold. So you've got a nice fold, the crotch is popped out and then you take the fold again and meet the hem. Press down and get rid of any bumps and that is the American Eagle fold. And now it's my absolute favorite thing about my closet was when I walk in and my jeans are color coordinated from light to dark and they've got the American Eagle fold going on. I am all about color coordinating a closet. It's so important to me. I feel like when you walk in, it just feels like a piece of, like a little bit of home. Like it's just, 
a release of breath, I guess. I don't know. But I'm going through my jeans right now and I'm getting rid of any jeans that are either uncomfortable or I don't like the way that they look on me or whatever. And I'm throwing them on the floor and we will go through them later and then we'll pick them up and we'll see if they spark joy or not. I'm kind of doing that right now though, to be honest with you. I'm not really into the Marie Kondo, like spark joy. I'm into picking up a piece of clothing thinking, have I worn it in the last three months? Will I wear it in the next three months? And if the answer is no to both of those, it's gone. guys this is everything is put up everything's organized I want to talk to you a little bit about the specifics here about how and why I did what I did so let's start off with this section right here so all of my outerwear not coats but like outerwear are up here so like jean jackets and stuff coats are obviously in my coat closet near the front door but I also put my two-piece outfits that are like exercise and then all of my tank tops together. So instead of just color coordinating my, my closet so that every color just flows, which is beautiful, it's not functional. So what I do then instead is I group together like items and then color coordinate within that. So like, as you can see here, are all of my tank tops and they're color coordinated from black to blush. And I just feel like that works so much better. A lot of people fold their shorts or lay them out. I think that that's a major waste of space because you can hang them if you have the closet space. This is just so much better because I can actually see what shorts I have. And I put two to a hanger in most cases so that I'm actually saving hanger space. And all of my shorts are grouped together right here with um, kind of like my nicer shorts and my denim and then my workout shorts. And then I go into my sports bras. Another That's another thing that I think just makes so much sense being hung up because it keeps the shape so much nicer. My other bras, I'll show you how I keep those, but I have so many sports bras because I, I wear a lot of athletic wear that when I was putting them in drawers, I couldn't see what I had. The cups on the bras were getting molded, not molded, but um, creased and it just, this actually keeps the shape so much nicer. Over here are my jackets and sweaters. These are all hangers from things that I just purged, which that feels like such a good feeling. Like I feel lighter. And then below are just all of my t-shirts, blouses, tops, everything. And then if we switch over to this direction, over here we have like my dress skirts and pants, my longer cardigans because I needed space so that they would not get crunched up over here. And then all of my dresses. All in all, everything is color coordinated within the grouping, like I said, and I think that that just makes so much more sense than having a really pretty every color together closet. Okay, let's look inside my drawers. These, this is, if there's a magic spot, like where the magic happens in a closet, it's the drawers, because I think that people underuse their drawer space so much. These are all of my socks, and I know I can see exactly what socks I have because they are laid out exactly. I'm missing some obviously because they're in the laundry, but how nice is it to be able to open a drawer and know exactly what it is that you have and be able to go in and pull exactly what it is that you want. The next level down, we have our PJs. So here's my rule of thumb for PJs. I get one drawer. I'm at my max, so if I buy another pair of PJs, that means I have to get rid of a pair. That is how I keep my closet looking manageable, feeling manageable, and also I can bless other people because I can donate what I don't use. I love to put sachets, sachets, sachets. The last video I did, I couldn't remember. I know it's a French word, I'm pretty sure it's sachet, of um, something scented in there just so that when you get your pajamas out, they smell good. And then this is my undies drawer and bras, okay. Another, this is another situation where this is my max that I'm allowed to have. I'm only allowed to have this many pairs of underwear and this many bras. If I get more in, 
time to get rid of some. And it really does help keep down the clutter in your closet. It's, it's like such a game changer. But let's talk about how I am doing my bras. So when you get online, there's all types of bra shapers and forms that you can buy on like container store. And I think that they're amazing, but they are freaking expensive. And here's the thing, if you're laying them on top of each other like this, they're actually doing the job of keeping the shape so you don't need the form. So don't spend that money, just do it this way where they're actually stacked on top of each other. For underwear, I'm gonna show you how I fold my underwear because this is such a game changer. Because you can actually see what you have and as you can see, they're color coordinated. So, taking a pair of underwear, these are my favorite underwear in the world by the way. <laughs> and they fold back, back, and then down. So that is the top, right? And then they go in with the top facing this direction and then they are in color order. And I know when I open my drawer exactly where my favorite underwear are because I can see them. Next drawers, leggings. If you're anything like me, you live your life in yoga pants or leggings, whatever you wanna call them. This is the best way in my opinion. I even have my little stickers here upside down in my drawer so I can see exactly wh what they are. Not that I don't know, but you know, I'm a little OCD. But this is how I fold my leggings. I do the American Eagle half fold, and then I take the top and I roll down, but like a nice crease, not an actual roll. And then they fit perfectly into there. I'm missing a couple pairs because they're in the laundry, but again, only allowed to have as many that can fit in the drawer. And then over here, these are my t-shirts that, um, so these are over here are, gosh darn, my stickers aren't staying so well, which is a bummer. I need to do a better job. So over here are my workout tanks. And then here are my workout t-shirts. And then here are my bralettes. These are the bras that I reach for if I need like the chicken cutlets, like Matt calls them, or like a lacy bralette. But yeah, this is all in that drawer. Final drawers sweatshirts and sweatpants. These back here are a couple pair of my um, hunter boot socks because they're so thick. I wish I could find another home for them because I could open up another space for another pair of sweatpants because, you know, I, I like to max out my drawers. I like to have more because I live in sweatpants. I love them, but that's that. I'm gonna talk really quickly about what's at the top of my closet and then we're done. I utilized every space, every square inch of space. But I, what I did was I allowed myself some pretty, like up here, I displayed all of my boxes from like designer purchases that I've made. But then I bought these three baskets right here. I'll link them for you in the description box below because they are the perfect closet basket. And then I bought the little clip-ons and then used sticker labels. And that way I know exactly where my excess belts, hats, and accessories are. And then Matt actually put an extra shelf up there at the top of my closet so that I could put my extra shoes. I have a lot of shoes. I know I have a lot of shoes, but you gotta remember, I'm a blogger and when I do outfit posts, you know, you guys don't wanna see me wearing the exact same thing every single time. You wanna see some variety, so I have to have variety. I was very purposeful about using these cubbies for actually pretty because that's what organization is all about, is pretty. But um, I love my Louis Vuitton bags. I wanted them somewhere that they were A, accessible, and B, B they were kind of a showpiece because let's be honest, they cost a lot, so I wanna be able to enjoy them every time I come into my closet. So I have them here on the bottom, and then that way I can just grab one when I wanna switch out to make that my purse that I'm using. So let's move on to the purses up here and talk about how they're organized. These bags, I actually bought acrylic dividers. You can kind of see them up there in between the purses, in between the bags. And what that does is that helps them stand up straighter and look much nicer because when you are actually stacking your bags to stand up, they, they tend to just start slowly falling over and they look mess and it actually causes the shape to change. So by doing that, I was able to maintain the shape of the bags while also making them look nicer overall when you walk into the closet. Thank you for helping me con Mari the crap out of my closet. It looks amazing and it feels so good. I feel lighter to have gotten rid of the clothes that I got rid of. And I cannot wait to do more cleaning with you guys because you guys motivated me to like get in here and do it. Just a, a little bit of a advice, when you're cleaning your closet, bring a dust rag like you saw. I dusted down everything and then I vacuumed everything because when you're moving stuff around, you're gonna have dust bunnies and you're gonna have dust flying, get rid of it. Don't let it settle, just clean it up. Just, if you're gonna do a job, 
do it the whole way. You know what I mean? Let me know in the comments, what do you want to see me clean next? Should we do the playroom, my bedroom, the bathroom? What do you want to see? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and turn your bell notifications on for my channel because we are going to do the notification squad and I'm going to start doing special giveaways for those people who have notifications on and comment on my video in the first 30 minutes. So make sure you're a part of that. I love you guys so much. Au revoir. So I prefer to let my jewelry sit in the cleaner overnight because when you wake up in the morning, I feel like it just does an amazing job and it looks incredible. If you don't have overnight, then let it sit for like an hour or so and take an old toothbrush and just...